Okay, another beautiful day in paradise with a blazing sun above and a cool breeze and cool ocean below. Let's talk about energy. Some people are getting fatigued, some people have run out of energy, and energy is made in your mitochondria. And the mitochondria have to be healthy, they have to feed the right food to be able to do what they need to do as mitochondria. <laughs> Just make ATP. So, there's the deal. You uh, have to eat specific foods to use in mitochondria. They use free fatty acids and they use glucose. These foods are absorbed through the mitochondrial matrix and then moved through transporter uh, channels to get inside the matrix itself to experience beta oxidation, which is where you, uh, hello, there we go, which, <laughs> which is where you uh, clip up the free fatty acids into two carbon unit chains to feed into the Krebs cycle to make the NADH and FADH2, which is used in the electron transport train to release its protons to make a gradient to drive a wheel that acts like a water wheel to combine phosphates and ADP into ATP. Yeah, simple, right? Anyway, so the idea here is specific things work better than others. Uh, glucose stimulates the production of mitochondria. That's what it does. Free fatty acids also runs the mitochondria, especially when you're on a dry fast because you're not taking any glucose. You've got to use all your fat for energy, and that's where it's used. It cuts up the free fatty acids and change the feed of the Krebs cycle to go through all these cycles to get to the ATP production. Fructose. <laughs> Fructose is pretty lousy because what it does do is it prevents the, uh, and inhibits the actions of mitochondria. So fructose is kind of out. So people that go into these high fruit diets aren't doing themselves any favors, really. But that brings up another aspect, ketones. Ketones, you go into ketosis, you have ketones. Well, ketones, when you're in ketosis, you have a 400% increase in ATP. Your body loves ketones. And under a stress reaction, it's taking those ketones and using them. Because it is stress, it's hermetic stress. You're in a dry fast, which is a calculated period, a deliberate period of hermetic stress to cause all these changes. One of which is mitochondrial biogenesis. You want more energy? Maybe you need more mitochondria. So the ketones do that. That's the cool thing about ketones. That's the cool thing about dry fasting. That's why we go into a dry fast. That's why it's so effective. Because when you go into ketosis, you're running on a lot of ketones. And the ketones do all this great work inside the body. Brain loves ketones, mitochondria loves ketones, but we only do it for seven days because you don't want to stay in ketosis all the time. You want to have normal biological aging and normal biological living. So that's kind of the trick there. We do dry fasting for a lot of reasons. Get rid of parasites and all that stuff. We beat the somatic paradox with dry fasting because it produces brand new cells to replace the old dying cells from the somatic paradox. <laughs> they only can last so long. They're kind of on a short fuse. Stem cells, not necessarily, because stem cells are multipotent, pluripotent. They have active telomerase. They are about as close to immortal as you can ask for. And if you're replacing your burnout old cells with immortal cells, there's a good prescription for a longer lifespan. So that's the message today. What you feed yourself really matters. I talk about it a lot in the next book. And the next book is a way to align all of the regenerative and restorative processes so that you can have a longer lifespan. Or as I call it, a, now, a longer now span, because that's all there is. You know, time is fleeting. Now is eternal. So yeah, eat the right fats. You know, the polyunsaturated fats are crap because they make lousy uh, membranes that leak protons and so forth and allow stuff into cells because they're porous they increase cellular permeability so you need the nice animal fats the saturated fats they tend to replace the bad fats that you've been eating for years and although it takes 600 days to replace your free fatty or your uh, uh, polyunsaturated fats with 
saturated fats. <laughs> it will only take like seven days on a dry fast. That stuff that you get rid of on the last day and the day after the fast ends. I don't know, man. It looks like a lot of bad stuff's coming out. So you've done your body good. That's the message today. Be careful what you eat. If you are running out of energy, you got to focus on your mitochondria. If you do, you'll have more energy. You know, live longer. And uh, you'll think better because every cell in the body has mitochondria, including the cells in your brain. So stay sharp. Stay frosty. Make good decisions. <laughs> As Lewis said in Ghostbusters 2. Anyway, that's the message today. Do the right thing for your body and your mitochondria. Eat the right foods and lay off the sucrose. It's like acid. It's like acid to your cells. It increases iron loading. It's just not good. So white sugar off the table. Anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button. All that good stuff that helps me get this out to other people. And uh, have a great day. It's uh, looking like it's working up to be a really good one. See ya.